And now we'll come back to this situation where we have two masses, uh, one resting on a table and the other hanging over a pulley. And we're given mu, m1, m2, and g. And in this case, we're told to find a. We're not given specific numbers here, so we're just going to do the analysis and find an expression, a mathematical expression for a in terms of these other things. So here's how we analyze the forces. We have gravity pulling down on both masses, so that's m1g and m2g. We have the table holding up mass m1. We call that n, the normal force. In this case, m2 pulls down, so m1 tends to slide to the right, so that means friction is going to be to the left. Friction always opposes the motion. If M1 is being pulled to the right, friction will be pulling against that. And friction I call little f. As before, we have some tension in the rope, but one of those tensions is in the positive direction and one's in the negative direction. You could draw them in if you want to, but they'll just cancel out. Those are what we called internal forces. The forces that you see on screen now, those are the external forces on the system. Those are the ones we need to consider when thinking about Newton's second law, F net equals MA. Now the net force here will be M2G minus F. And again, just imagine an object if you had 12 Newtons pulling forward and 2 Newtons pulling back, the net force would be 12 minus 2. Applying that same concept here, you have M2G pulling forward and little f pulling back. So the net force is M2G minus little f, M2G minus friction. That equals MA, and the mass being accelerated in this case is the two masses together, M1 plus M2 times A. Friction in this case the force of friction is always mu times n, and n in this problem is m1g. So friction will be mu times m1 times g. So I can rewrite my equation like this, m2g equals mu m1g, and that's a minus sign right there, m2g minus mu m1g equals m1 plus m2 times a. We were told to find A, so we can just divide each side by M1 plus M2, and we're left with an expression for A. It would be M2G minus mu M1G divided by M1 plus M2, and we're done. That's our answer. We can't get a specific number because we, did, we weren't given values for these quantities. But if we were, we could plug them in to this equation and get an answer for A. Once again, this is not an equation that you want to memorize. You want to be able to do the physics involved right here. You want to be able to start with Newton's second law, analyze the forces on the system, apply Newton's second law to this particular situation, and then do the algebra that you need to do to find what you're trying to find.